when I was some of your age, I read Babar books. I don't know if you've ever read them, but we have a few in our library. This one is called Babar's Book of Color by Lorraine de Brunhoff and it is read with permission of Abrams Publishing. This one is gonna talk, I think, all about colors. Let's see. <gasps> oh, good end papers. I love elephants. Oh, look, she's got a little can of white paint and black paint. Babar's Book of Colors. One morning when Babar was in his studio, his children, Flora, Palm, and Alexander came to see him, bringing Cousin Arthur. Can we use some of your paints, Papa? Palm asked. We want to paint too. Of course, said Babar. Why don't each of you pick a color? Red, blue, yellow, white, or black? And paint what it makes you think of. Red. I want red, Flora said, and painted two red cherries to hang on her ears. I want red too, said Alexander, so I can paint a lobster. Blue, my favorite color is blue, said Palm, and he painted a pale blue sky over a big blue whale in a giant blue ocean a lot of blue. Yellow. I'm going to paint myself a whole swarm of yellow jackets. Bzzz. White. Well, will you paint with white? Don't forget white, said Babar. Snow, said Alexander. A polar bear, said Palm. A snow elephant said Flora. Instead of a snowman, the elephants make snow elephants. Black. And what will you paint with black, asked Babar. A black cat, said Arthur. Blackbirds, said Alexander. Excellent work, said Babar. Now I will show you how to make more colors from just the ones you have. He blew up three balloons, one red, one yellow, and one blue. Look, he said, pulling two balloons together. If you mix two colors, you get a third. If you mix all three, you get black. Let me see what you can do when you mix the colors together. See what they do here. Let's see. The red and yellow made orange. The yellow and blue made green. The red and blue together make purple. Ooh, and look, when they put them all together in the middle, it's black, just like he said. Green. Palm mixed yellow with his favorite blue and made green, which he and Flora used to paint frogs and crocodiles. Orange. Flora gave Alexander some red to mix with his yellow. This gave them a bright orange for painting pumpkins. Purple. Last, they mixed red and blue to get purple, a beautiful color for a car for Queen Celeste. Gray. Babar suggested that Flora add a little black to some white. She was delighted to find she had gray. Now I can paint a big herd of elephants, she said. That's what she was doing on the end papers with the black and the white. Pink. Now try adding a little red to the white, Flora, said Babar. Pink, she said. Lovely, lovely pink. I've always wanted pink flamingos on my walls. I hope she asked permission first.
Brown, brown is the hardest color to make, said Babar, but I will help you. Mix red and blue and yellow with just a little bit of black and paint me a bear. Oh, look at where they're mixing them. Look at all the different colors they end up with. I'll give you one more color, said Babar, but then we have to get ready for dinner. Mix the brown you made with a little yellow and a dash of white, and you will have tan and can paint yourself some camels. Tan. What a pleasant afternoon they had playing with color. Babar hung the artwork on a display board in his studio making the children very proud. Look at all their artwork. The end. And back to her painting the herd of elephants going on a parade. Babar's Book of Color.